Mark, the state capitol campus is more than just the legislative building where all the laws are made. Thousands of employees come here every day to work. It's 450 acres big. It's got parks, there's a lakes, and also there's now a long-term RV parking lot. Some folks have complained to the state, so the state's looking at maybe solving what many believe to be a growing problem. I love the water. I love the trees and the just the atmosphere. Capital Lakes newest addition. Before the summer, there were no cars along here at all. Is not as loved as the natural beauty here. The first year I've ever felt the need to put my key between my fingers while I'm running through here. <laughs> we're stepping over needles. You know, you uh, run by and um, you know, everything reeks of urine. Olympia's homeless have moved from the downtown core to beneath city bridges and along the Chutes Parkway, part of the Capitol campus, owned and maintained by the state of Washington. There are no rules about long-term or overnight parking, nothing on the books about RVs either, but public complaints have the state looking at establishing some rules. They've expressed concern about various health and human safety issues, um, sewage dumping, uh, doorways opening into bike and pedestrian pathways. Earlier this month, a homeless man, Jason Moline, was killed on Deschutes Parkway. The State Patrol released this image taken from a bus showing Moline moments before his death, along with a surveillance video of someone running from the murder scene. The RVs have not been linked to the unsolved homicide, but Capitol Campus Park users fear it's another sign their favorite walking spot is no longer safe. It's sad. It's very sad because you, you feel for your own safety, but you feel for the people that are stuck in that predicament. Should the state offer housing assistance or mental health or addiction help to the campus? Well, it is my taxes paying for this lake, and I don't get the lakefront view. Or just ban long-term parking here altogether. The state wants to know what you think. There's got to be a solution, and I don't know, I have a, an idea of what it could be. It's not clear when the state will make a decision, but it's months away from happening. The state does want to hear from the public. This is the public's property. If you would like to submit a comment, you can do that via email. Text the word parking to 206-448-4545, and we'll send you that email address. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.